Hi and welcome to the Locals Diaries Home Studio. I'm Doug Shaw and during these short sessions we'll be looking at creative exercises that you can make and do using materials you can easily find around most households. We're supporting the Locals Diaries which is an archive project being run by the London Borough of Sutton and it aims to record how people are thinking and feeling during these unusual times. If you want to know more about that project and how to make a submission to it then please take a look at the text below. Okay Let's get stuck into this week's session, which is all about making art without using a paintbrush. Hi folks. So in this session I'm going to take a look at uh, making some art and I'm going to play with some paint. But I thought rather than use a paintbrush, I'll see what other ways I can um, move the paint around the paper. I found some old card. You could use um, white paper or white card or maybe a back of a cereal box, something like that if you're... Um, if you haven't got any cardboard to hand, but I happen to have found these old pieces of nice buff card that I'm going to use. And one of the things I've been missing lately is the opportunity to go for nice long walks along the river. The River Wandle isn't far from where we live, um, but it's not really been possible to uh, spend a lot of time there whilst observing the um, social distancing um, guidelines. So I'm, I'm missing the river, so I'm going to be looking forward and thinking about returning to that, that place. So maybe as you're doing your work, you could think about something that you're looking forward to doing in the future too. So when I think about the river, I think about the blue, white, and maybe a little bit of yellow in the water. And what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start by creating a sort of basic impression of the river colours uh, on this card. And then maybe I'll start to add some details in. And I'm going to use this old tape membership card as a way of moving the paint around. You'll see what happens as, as I begin to get going. You could use a piece of cardboard if you don't have a, a plastic card like this, but I find these old um, sort of credit card type shapes a really useful tool for, for moving paint around in, instead of using a paintbrush. So let's make a start. I want the main colour for, um, for my little river uh, impression, if you like, to be blue. So I'm going to put some blue paint down this side of the... Um, Paper. As you can see, I'm just splurging it on at the moment, not really paying much attention, just making a bit of a mess and getting it on there. I'd like a little bit of white to add some interest and sort of break things up a bit. So let's put a bit of white down behind it. And then maybe one other colour. Oops, let's get the lid done up there. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on as well. So... Just a little yellow, not so much, just a couple of blobs there. Right, now, now I've done that, I'm going to get this old card and I'm going to use it to drag the paint across the paper and watch the effect that that, uh, that, that has. So I'm using the long edge and basically I'm going to press it down against the paper now and I'm going to put, use it to pull paint along the paper. Let's have another go here. Ah, it's gone right the way across this time. And then there's one more piece here. Lovely. Now I'm just going to turn the paper round because as you saw, I've got a bit of a blank section there and there's a little bit of paint left on my um, credit card. So I'm going to put the card down here. And I'm just going to see if I can pull that last bit of colour across. There we go. Now I'll just give the rest of it a bit of a drag because I don't want it to be too defined. It's just the sort of rivery colours at the moment. Yeah, that's nice. Good messy fun. Now, I'm just going to let that dry for a short while before I put some uh, details on top. So let's just take a pause, we'll let it dry and come back to it in a little while. Okay, so my first layer of paint is nice and dry. And uh, as you can see, now that it's dried, the card has flattened out again. I should say, if you're going to use paper, then you might find that that warps a little bit. Not that that's a problem, but that something a bit stiffer like card will kind of hold its shape. Um, if you like, a little better. 
So um, I've now got this uh, nice sort of smeary, rivery coloured uh, background and I want to put some, I'm, I'm just imagining this as a representation of the river so I think I'm going to put a little bit of a plant, so something where my hand is here, just kind of reaching out from this um, bottom corner. I'm going to use some green paint to do that and I think what I'm going to do, I've got this old plastic tray so I'm going to put a little bit of green, nice bright green that contrasts with the, um, the sort of drabber colour, there we go, look at that. A smear of green paint in there. Now I'll just move that off to one side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my edge of the card in that paint. I don't know if you can see that on there, but there's some there's some green there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the point of it down on the paper here, and I'm going to just ever so slightly sort of wobble the card from side to side. So I'll lift that up so you can see it. But I've got a little kind of slash, if you like, of green paint just there. And I'm going to put that down, back on the table again, and I'm going to reload my card, so I'm going to put more paint back on, and this time I'm going to move the point a little bit further, so it's going to come over here. Again, same idea, just a little drag. So you can see I'm keeping one end still, and I'm moving the other end slightly. So I'm creating this little sort of fan effect, if you like. I'll keep going, do a couple more. Again, just hold where my left hand is, hold that steady. See? What I'll do is I'll keep going and work these in. So I'll, I'll press pause on the video and do the rest of these, um, fan this shape out, and then I'll come back to you. I'll be back very soon. Bye for now. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, carried on with that um, effect. I've repeated it a few times. I'll just bring it up to the camera there so you can see it nice and clear. And although the paint hasn't quite dried yet, you can see um, it's, got, it's leaving quite a nice effect, a quite nice mark on the card. So when it dries, it'll have a slightly sort of, almost like a 3D effect, if you like. So I thought the other thing, I'd like to add another um, device, another, another piece onto my work. And I'm going to have a go at uh, putting a dragonfly on there. And I'm not sure how well this is going to come out, but I quite like the colour purple. Nice dark purple there. So I'm going to just put a little, again, go back to my um, tray here, and just put a little um, splurge of purple paint. And what I'm going to try and do, I'm sticking with the card for now, my credit, my old um, credit card, my art gallery membership card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the body of a dragonfly in here. Then I'm going to use the short end to create the wings. And let's see how that uh, let's see how that looks. So we'll start off with a bit of purple, and we'll put it at an angle, I think somewhere around here. Again, I'm just going to move it ever so slightly. So you see what I've done there? I kept this end still, moved that end, and I've created a kind of tapering body, if you like, of the dragonfly. Now I'm going to um, put some paint on the thin end and try and do the same and create the wings. So let's have a go at that and see how we get on. It's a bit of an experiment for me, but let's see. Oops. <laughs> right. So, wings of the dragonfly be about here. And I wonder if I can do that same effect. So I'm going to hold this end still. Put it down first of all. I'm just going to gently... There we go. That... Oh, never mind. There's an accident there. <laughs> this is covered in paint. Anyway, it's all about making a mess, really. So let's have another go with the um, with this here. So 
Okay, and I think dragonflies actually have two pairs of wings, but I might just leave that one there. Let's, there we go. And I'll just put a bit more paint on the end of my card. I'm just going to bring it a little bit closer in. There. So it's a bit more, um, oh yeah, I like that. Now I need to think of whether there's anything I can do with these. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just use my finger to kind of work that, see if I can work that in at all. Well actually I'm sort of rubbing it out a bit, which is not too bad. But I'll leave it there, because if you can imagine this is a reflection on the water then it's not going to be too, um, not going to be too perfect. Okay, I'm going to go and wash my hands. Uh, get this paint off and I'll let my dragonfly um, dry off for a sec and then maybe I'll think about one other thing that I might work into the painting. Let's see, I'll be back with you soon. Bye bye for now. Okay, so I've been having a think about what to add to my uh, river picture and I'd like, I think what I'm going to do uh, is experiment with just creating some a few maybe just gently wavy lines, perhaps down here and some more up here, just to kind of give that sense of movement in the water. And because I'm not using brushes in my art, I'm going to see how I get on with this, um, I think it's a barbecue skewer. I'm not going to use the pointy end, I'm going to use the flat end. I'm going to try working with a little bit of white paint, so I'll put a little bit of white paint in my um, on my tray. Remember that tray from earlier? And I've got no idea how this is going to work because obviously this doesn't load like a brush so I might have to keep coming back to it but I'm just going to put some paint on there. Can you see that? And then I am going to see if I can just create a kind of flowing sort of shape line. Let's see how we go. Okay, now what I'm doing there, I don't know if you could see that, but I was very gently rotating the tip of the um, the stick so that the paint was kind of coming off as I was able to move the, move the point along. Let's have another go. So we start here, and then as I go along, just gently keep turning so I'm rotating rotating the point the, the sorry the blunt end of the stick just very gently I'll put one more one more in so I'm sort of following a pattern but not not 100% and here comes the last one so I put it down I start to move the stick and as I do I slowly turn it so that there's Fresh paint, there we go, to distribute. Now, I did say I was going to put some more up here, but I think I might actually leave it there. So that's uh, that's my brushless artwork of the uh, of the river. So just a quick reminder, um, I use my credit card to drag those colours across the page. Then I use, used it in a slightly different way on the edge to create the... Um, the leaves in the water, if you like, or a plant in the water, then this dragonfly flying over the water, and then finally I use the stick to create some, um, uh, some, some kind of water line effects, if you like. So I'll put that to one side. Now, uh, before I go, I just want to show you one other um, quick artwork that I made, again, using um, uh, art without brushes. So this piece on this page here, is again another uh, piece with a nod to the river but what I've done here is I've used wax crayons so I put coloured wax crayons down first on the page then I put a black wax crayon on top and then funny enough I used that same painty stick just to scratch the black wax off and reveal the colours underneath so again you get a sense of movement in the river together with the plants kind of moving around in the water so there's another example of how I can make art um, that, that gives a nod to something that I'm looking forward to revisiting, going back to the river, but again, I've done it without using a brush. So if you want to make some brushless art, 
about things that you're looking forward to do and, and maybe hopes that you've got for the future, then please go ahead. And if you want to share any of your work online, please use the hashtag, hashtag the locals diaries. I hope you've enjoyed playing along with these series and I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye for now.